Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Will and I dye my hair a lot. I used to film a video every time I did my hair and it was pretty frequent because I changed my hair a lot. Um, I think I filmed every hair dyeing I've done except like my last one. It's been a lot. I was on a hiatus from dyeing my hair for a year and then I brought this hair back and today we might be changing it again. We might not. It's still to be determined. In case you guys have missed anything though, let me briefly fill you in on the history of my hair because it's very extensive and it's very damaging. So if you're a hairstylist, I suggest you please click out of this video while you have your sanity intact. For whatever reason, ever since I was younger, I've always been obsessed with the idea of dyeing my hair and I always wanted to be a blonde. It was like a dream in my life to be a blonde and maybe I should have set my life goals a little higher than just dyeing my hair blonde, but that was my dream. But in high school, I wasn't allowed to actually bleach my hair. So I was kind of going back and forth between like light brown, black and kind of every random shade in between. And then I first dabbled with a color in my hair like my sophomore year and I dyed my hair navy blue, but I didn't do anything under it. So that lasted maybe a week, barely if that. Then my senior year of high school, I tried bleach for the first time and I ended up doing what I like to call my goth mermaid hair. It was really pretty, but it required a lot of upkeep. So I didn't keep it for very long. And then after that, I went back to black after a temporary green until February of 2020, which is when my hair dyeing journey really took off. I bleached half of my head and I dyed it purple, which I really liked, but ultimately I decided that I'd rather go blonde than purple. So in March of 2020, I rebleached it and left it blonde. I loved it, but my family didn't. And because for whatever reason, I deeply care about what other people think, I dyed it back to black in April of 2020. But then I decided that I don't care what people think. And so I dyed it back to blonde in July of 2020. Then in October, I was craving a change and so I dyed it red and I actually really liked the red and I liked the way it faded to pink so I kept that for a little while. Then, and for a while, I mean a month because in November, I dyed it back to black and in December, I bleached it again. Unfortunately, the damage didn't stop there because in February of 2021, I got a different job and so I dyed my hair back to brown and then back to blonde again in May, back to black in July, which lasted until September when I tried to do sort of like a purple underneath of my hair, but it didn't work very well. So then my hair was kind of just several different shades of mental breakdown brown. And then in November of 2021, I finally actually like bleached the underside of my hair and went pink and black. Then I cut my hair and dyed over that in December. That change lasted until April of 2022, where I briefly brought back the pink and the black but then dyed it a week later to half and half pink and black, which I absolutely loved. Until I was going through some stuff personally and managing my hair was becoming too much for me, so I went back to black and I vowed to myself that I wasn't going to dye my hair again for an entire year. That was said in July of 2022, and I kept mostly true to my word, dyeing my hair again only slightly early in June of this year. I restored my pink and black half and half. And I definitely have no intention of getting rid of my half and half hair, but lately another color has been tempting me. I kind of want to go orange, but the idea of that raised a couple problems too, because I'm like, it'd be really hard to dye it that color. It could just end up looking like shit. And that's basically the issues. But it was time for me to touch up my roots anyway. So I figured I'd film the hair dyeing process, whatever the result may be. Do I play it safe and stick to the stuff I know? Guess we'll find out, huh? Okay, so I trimmed my bangs, trimmed up my side shave. We're gonna start the hair dyeing process. I think my plan is I'm going to bleach it because I wasn't very happy with the first bleaching anyways because it came out a little spotty when I redid it. There's like a chunk right here that I just never get. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and re-bleach it and then maybe I'll do like a test strand of the orange and see if I like it and if I don't, we're just gonna go pink again. I read the instructions thoroughly every time because I still don't know what I'm doing even though I've done this a million times by now. Just like when I'm making box mac and cheese, I know what I'm doing, but I have to keep the box right there anyways because you never know. In there, so I put the bleach in there, mix it, then I pour this into there, mix it, and then we put it on my head. 
you'd think I would know what I'm doing by now, but I don't. I'm gonna grab some scissors. Shake, snip the tip, pour into bottle. Okay, I need to do this more. when I film these videos I'd give little updates about my life there really isn't much to update you guys about though I've mainly just been working and getting by oh my god is it almost done my god I decided that it is done now I need to turn this vent on because I'm using bleach if it distracts from the audio quality I'm sorry but I value breathing I did go to Dollar Tree the other day. This new one opened up in pretty close proximity to my apartment. So it was good. It looked like this huge Dollar Tree like they were advertising it. And I've been seeing a lot of like Facebook posts from these like Halloween groups I'm a part of, you know, saying, oh, Dollar Tree is like it for Halloween. They have like all the cool stuff. And I honestly was kind of disappointed by mine. It didn't have as many as I've been seeing from some places, but I still got a pretty good Halloween loot i found this like little misting cauldron for like five dollars i got these little like display people the guy checking me out at the register was very enthusiastic he was you know loving every single item i grabbed he'd pick every item up and be like oh my god that's cute oh my god a little tree that's fun he saw this little halloween tree i got he looked at it he looked at it he's like oh my god that's interesting it's kind of like christmas but it's not I'm like yeah, maybe because it's Halloween. And then, you know, he kept scanning more Halloween stuff then. And he's like, mm -hmm, doing a little decorating, are we? I was like, yeah. <laughs> what the outcome of the bleaching is gonna be? Because like, right now it's pink. So I know that my roots need to be redone. I'm just, you know, obviously if this doesn't work out, I'm just doing pink on top of it. So. I guess the color that the bleach does doesn't really matter. So I'm going for like cute Halloween, but like not Pennywise. So I know you're supposed to start with your mids and ends, and I'm still following through with that. It So my friend Caitlin and I went to see Barbie not too long ago and I absolutely loved it. I collect dolls and I thought obviously I need the Margot Robbie Barbie in my collection. Um, I wouldn't say I was at a need for Ryan Gosling but we got him anyways. We hang out at my grandma's house because she has a big basement and you know we got back from the movie. I'm dressed in a pink dress, pink platform Crocs. And my grandma's like, what movie did you guys go see? Don't tell me you went to see Barbie. And we're like, that's exactly what we just saw. And she kind of was like, isn't that for children? And I'm like, it's rated PG-13 actually. And then she's like, oh, so you're seeing it with 13 year old children. That's not much better. And I just think that that was funny because and while it's not like vastly inappropriate for children, I really don't think children would understand the Barbie movie at all. Like it wasn't designed for children. It's not like a fun animated Barbie movie. It's like her in the real world struggling and faces issues that a lot of women face. Anyways, I'm going to let this sit on my hair for a little bit. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do the top and then we'll see what goes from there. Okay, so this is how the blonde is turning out. I ended up rinsing the ends a little bit, but we kept it on the mids. Um, there's still like a darker section right here I might try and tackle on its own, but this top is definitely lighter. So I might go in for a second bleaching, but I wanna get the majority of it off my head real quick. Okay, so right now it's honestly not looking too bad. I feel like it lifted better going blonde this time than it did like the first bleaching when I was turning it pink and I'm kind of obsessed. Still gonna go in and try and do a little bit of correction like in the mids here and just try and get it a little bit lighter in this little part on the bang. But even from the back, like there is some remaining pink but I plan on dyeing black anyways. 
so I think it'll help get rid of any mistakes that I have left. But I can feel y'all cringing at me for putting bleach on my head again, so I'm gonna save you the pain of watching that and I'm gonna bleach my hair again off camera and I'll be back with you when I decide what to do next. Okay, I'm honestly so torn because this is the lightest that it's been in a hot minute, pretty consistent, and I don't wanna like die over it and then wish that I left it what it is because it's gonna be hard as fuck to get it back to this. But I also don't wanna just leave it like this if I would really like a color. Okay, I think I've made a decision. I actually don't have the developer that goes with the toner that I bought, so. I can't tone it anyways. So I think I'm gonna do a test strand of the orange and I still have some bleach left. So if I really hate it, I can bleach it out and do the other color or keep it. Um, but if I like it, then I like it. So twist the top off. And it's orange and I'm scared. Oh fuck. Here goes the mixing. Oh, that is orange. I'm reconsidering every single life choice. Committing to whole head application right now. I'm committing to, oh, 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 oh. I'm going to actually, it's not actually as like vibrantly orange as I thought. Maybe it'll be a cool copper like I'm hoping and praying that it will be. Well that looks like a Cheeto. Okay. I'm gonna leave this for a little bit and see what I think of it and then maybe I'll do this half of my head. Maybe I'll cry in a gutter. Um, to be determined. Okay, I think it's looking pretty cool and logically I should wait, but I'm not going to because I just want to be done with this hair dyeing process. Now this turned a really interesting color in the bottle. Oh, now it turned brown, I think. I know what to do because I left it sitting a little too long. Do I wash it off now and go pink? Do I put this on my head and pray? <laughs> what do I do now? I mean, realistically, I think it's still orange. I think it's just a darker orange. So at this point in the hair dyeing process, I was feeling pretty shitty because I was certain that I just fucked up my entire head. I was regretting every single life choice I'd ever made leading up to this point. But I frankly was just ready to finish dyeing my hair because I was getting sick of having the hair dye on my head and smelling the hair dye fumes all in the air. So I just wanted to finish it up and get the mess done and over with. fail safe we can go black on all of it I'm gonna leave this on for a little bit wash it off and then cry <laughs> what an interesting color okay my hair is done keeping completely real with you guys I was terrified when I was rinsing it out and I thought that this was gonna be a grave mistake I thought I was gonna cry but I did my makeup and I am absolutely obsessed it is giving fall it is giving halloween i absolutely love it i think i do want to touch up actual black on this side 
as like a little final touch but i love this color i think it looks so cool and if i do want to wear something that doesn't go well with orange i have wigs of different colors so i can always wear something you know more natural but i am absolutely living for this i am so excited that i decided to give it a try and work with it because i think this is really fun and fresh obviously it's more of like an unnatural orange rather than like ginger or like redhead but i think it is definitely giving something and i am kind of obsessed with it so this is gonna be my hair color for a little while i kind of want to keep it at least through like fall halloween time i think this is spooky and i am kind of living for it right now this side isn't doing too bad either the only side that i lost some hair in was this side i pulled out a chunk which is strange to me i don't know how there's hair on my head but there is and this is the final look and i am super excited with it and super <laughs> thrilled to have this fun little like halloween hair i think i'm really glad that i tried it i think it looks so cool and i'm so excited to continue styling it and playing with it so that is going to be the end of this video and i'll see you guys in my next